So how do you become a copywriter, even if you're a beginner with no experience? What are the exact steps or process would I follow today if I was to start all over again? Hi, I'm Jesse from startcopywriting.com. I've been a freelance copywriter for the last 18 years, so I'm excited to be creating this video and sharing my personal insights with you. So what is copywriting? Well, copywriting, or copy for sure, is the art of writing persuasive text that influences people to take some kind of action, whether that action is clicking a button, buying a product, inquiring about a service, or even attending an event. So you might be wondering, well, what does a copywriter do? Well, as copywriters, we're typically hired by businesses, big and small, to write about their products or services in a way that's gonna get people excited about buying those products or services. Copywriters are hired to write all different types of copy, whether that's marketing or advertising campaigns, billboards, Facebook ads, landing pages, email campaigns, video scripts, and the list goes on and on. Whatever you see, advertising or marketing that's influencing you, that was usually a copywriter that was hired to write that. So what skills or qualities do you need to become a copywriter? Well, believe it or not, you don't need a university degree. I don't have a journalist degree and I've succeeded in the last 18 years of being a copywriter. You also don't necessarily need to be a native English speaker. There's copywriters all around the world writing for all different types of companies. And you don't need years of professional writing experience. However, you do need excellent writing skills or a willingness to improve your writing and to learn you will need to be able to research so you fully understand the benefits and features of what you're writing about and of course the needs the desires and wants of the target audience that you're writing to an interest in human psychology or behavior is going to really help you as well because if you're interested in learning what motivates people to believe something or take action that's going to help you write better copy I myself am a huge fan of psychology and I've used those insights in the copy that I write that helps me become a better copywriter. Time management skills are really important because as a freelance copywriter, you're often writing by yourself. You need to be able to manage your time so you can meet those all important client deadlines ensuring the client's thrilled with your work and that you submit it on time. Well, the first thing I recommend you do is read some of the classic copywriting books so that you understand the basic principles of copywriting. There are many great books out there. The two that I would recommend to you today, the first one is Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion by Robert Cialdani. And my second favorite copywriting book is The Ad Week Copywriting Handbook by Joseph Sugarman, who I had the pleasure of meeting in person. So read those books, understand the important beginner principles of copywriting, that's gonna help you when it comes to writing copy. The second thing I recommend you do is choose a type of copywriting to specialize in. Specialist copywriters seem to out-earn general copywriters. If you become the best email copywriter for e-commerce brands, not only will you stand out as a specialist, you'll probably make more money that way as well. The fourth thing I would do is gain valuable writing experience. In order to become a copywriter, you need to write copy. Too many people I've met think about copywriting, read about copywriting, but they never actually sit down and write copy. You need to start writing. You need to practice writing all the time. How do you do that if you don't have any clients? Well, there's a couple of easy ways to get started. The first way is to write about products or brands that you already know and love. Maybe there's products that you own uh, that are in your house, Maybe they're brands that you follow on social media or that you endlessly talk about to your friends. Those are the brands you can easily write about because you already understand those products and you yourself are a consumer of them. So it should be easier to practice writing about those. Another thing you can do is you can approach businesses that you like and offer to write for them for free in exchange for a portfolio and hopefully a testimonial. Those brands have got no risk because you're saying, hey, I'll write you you know, whatever it is, an email, a landing page, a press release, I'll write for you this one time for free because I want to get experience in writing for more brands and I would love to write for you. That's an irresistible offer that should give you more writing experience and a portfolio example. Step number five to becoming a copywriter, of course, is marketing yourself and getting clients, even if you're an introvert. 
So many of my writing friends are introverts. They find it hard to go out there and sell themselves, but it's absolutely necessary if you wanna have a long-term writing career that pays the bills. You have to get out there and market yourself. The good news is it doesn't have to be difficult or scary. Once you go out there and market yourself a couple of times, you learn the ropes and it becomes a lot easier. The first thing you could do is to tap your existing network of people that already know, like, and trust you. These could be friends, family members, colleagues, old employers or bosses. People that already know you, like you, and trust you are much more likely to hire you and give you that first paid writing gig than a complete stranger that's never heard of you. So go through your contacts, ask yourself which of these people could likely hire me, and then reach out to them. Let them know that you're available, that you're a freelance copywriter looking to get your first few clients, and whether or not they need your help, or could they refer someone that could potentially need your help. The second thing you could do to get your first paid writing client is to go to the different job boards or freelance websites and pitch your writing services to the different jobs that are being advertised for freelance copywriters. There's so many different platforms out there and freelance websites like Upwork, LinkedIn, ProBlogger, um, the list goes on and on. I have another video on this topic which you can look at as well, but I encourage you to spend time every single day just perusing those job boards and looking for jobs that you would be interested in writing for and then writing a pitch so that you could potentially get hired. Another thing you can do is attend in-person seminars, conferences, or meetups where you know your potential clients might be attending also. Let's say that I'm an e-commerce copywriter. I write for e-commerce brands. I might research and find throughout the year all the different e-commerce conferences or events that I know that businesses and brands that could potentially hire me will be attending. I'm gonna show up to those events, shake hands, introduce myself, let them know that I'm available and pick up clients that way. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you would like even more tips on how to become a freelance copywriter and start your freelance copywriting career, I recommend checking out the link in the first pinned comment below this video, because I have a guide that covers the six step process for becoming a highly paid freelance writer. So go ahead and click on that link and I'll see you in the next video.